the one that went very well. I enjoyed that. Really. But there was one trait that they did have that really became a rather significant event later on in the history of this family. Uh, they really um, thought Hen uh, Henry was married to this Jenny, and Jenny was very, very peculiar. Uh, uh, I'll just put it Jenny that way. Jenny said she was downright crazy. <laughs> Uh, but what was her nose like? I don't remember. I don't mean physically. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, they lived in Camden. And they had a house there with a fairly, sort of like in the seedy part of Camden too, but there was a big piece of land that they had, and which included a goat. Oh, I remember. <laughs> they kept a goat and a horse. A horse. The horse they needed because he was he he was a, he was really a rag picker. He really went around with a horse and buggy, and he picked a lot of stuff. You know. This is Henry. Henry. Yeah. Dave also was in a junk business. Some kind. Yeah, everybody was in a junk business. <laughs> yeah. But but uh, Henry though had this. You know, he, he had he had the whole house filled with all kinds of stuff like that. Well, they didn't have any children, right? They didn't have any children. Oh, so they had a goat and a yeah. horse. And, 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 and Jenny did grow a lot of cats. vegetables. She, she did stuff like that, but she was more or less like a recluse. And what had happened was, of course, when Henry became sick, she was left by herself in the, in the house in Camden. And he, he was sick, he was in a hospital for an extended period of time. And um, uh, there was some concern about her because uh, the neighbor would, uh, was looking in on Jenny and, and the neighbor would uh, buy her food and she would uh, buy her lamb chops and she would feed them to the cats. You know, that wow. kind of thing that was going on. Yes. The lamb chops. So, yes. But meanwhile, as I started to say, what really started off this bit was that the Dave's children, especially, made fun of Jenny. They really, you know, they always. And and when we went over to uh, Camden, frequently uh, somebody would drive us over, and it would be uh, some of the children would come too. Dave usually, Dave and, and Becky didn't. Come. I don't know how you remember Becky. Well, it was Becky. I'm quite sure. Yeah. But uh, but they used to make fun of her because she you know she was a little bit odd. In any event, though, um, uh, when Henry was sick, you just visited him a few times in the hospital, and then there was some concern about uh, it was getting cold. They lived in an old house with a coal furnace, and um, the question is, and, and and Jenny appeared to be frail, and how was she? going to handle the winter and all the rest of it. And what Eudice did was she started to look after her. And she would visit her sometimes. One time, I remember, Debbie was with us. And, uh, and Jenny was afraid of kids. So, <laughs> so she would not let, I remember, <laughs> she wouldn't let you come into the house. <laughs> 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 I remember the car with you. I That's think. right. Oh I stayed with you. I, I must think have, I must have we been. This must have been. But, but, but she would I must have been like. So, well, I, I guess she, no, she was afraid of kids, but but I guess she had been she had been abused by her nephews or nieces from. <laughs> well, that, I mean, from Dave's yeah. kids, right? <laughs> I mean, she had this recollection from much earlier on. Anyway, <laughs> so you just being a good social worker finally did arrange when it appeared that um, Henry was never going to come out of that hospital alive, which he never did. Um, he, she arranged for her to go into a uh, home in South Philadelphia, and uh, they um, examined her, and she was really in terrible shape. She would be at heart and so forth, and but she was very, also very confused and being relocated in the home. And wouldn't you know it? Here, Eudice was doing the best she could for her and so forth, but she died within a few days after going into that home. Mm. Just, just well, how was Henry Pullman? Pullman. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that in a moment. But where, where, where things really got, there was a, a woman who was a cousin by the name of Lillian. Lily. She lived in Camden. And she had Henry's ear. And Henry changed his will. Originally, 
The, among other things, the family in South Philly imagined that Henry had a lot of money because he didn't spend any, they, they thought he had a big fortune. And so, and they also had a notion that he was going to leave the money to them. Anyway, Lily intervened and put the bug in Henry's ear to rewrite his will, and he divided it into thirds. One third went to your mother, and he, he wrote a third to you. The, the total will, and, and included, including everything in the house and so forth, amounted to $12,000. So this was not, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to think this was a good one. Still, this was a your mother didn't have any money at all, papers, of course. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, like when he died, the estate papers, the the family in in South Philadelphia were very very upset with Judas because they figured that who was she? She rather came in lightly yeah. into the picture that she was doing this to ingratiate her herself in the good graces of Henry <laughs> said that he would leave her the money, you know, and so forth. Let's see, who, who got the other $4,000? There was $12,000, $4,000 went to Molly and $4,000 to Eudas, I'm trying to remember. What did Aunt Sarah just say about Pullman? Yeah, oh, that was, that was there were two other, we made two other, she, we made four visits when she came up. Every time she came to fill up, which was, you know, she came quite regularly every year. Yeah. yeah. And um, we visited Dave in South Philly and Henry in the Camden. And then she had a cousin by the name of Rose Bernstein. Yeah, that's true. And Rose Bernstein lived in a, uh, not in, uh, sort of like an independent living of the, in the Jewish charity. It was a, she had her own apartment, but it was a Jewish, uh, Jewish charity owned building. And we visited her, we usually, we usually had a nice, she was a very lovely woman who had a son incidentally in the movie industry. He was either a writer or a, uh, or a producer or something, but he was apparently at that time was well known. That you might be able to find, I don't know. No, his name was what? Bernstein. Henry Bernstein? What was his name? I don't remember the first name. Okay. Bernstein. That was Bernstein. Well, they and made three hundred in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and then okay. and then she had another cousin by the name of Shirley Pullman. Um. And, this, and we would visit the Pullmans, too. And uh, her husband had a food store. And uh, we would visit them in a very small apartment in Linwood Gardens. I remember where that was. It's just uh, in Cheltenham, actually, not too far from where my house was. Um, but the, those were the four visits we would make. Other than... So, is it, wait, so as a result of, of Judas and, and Molly cheating, I guess, Dave's sons out of the will that that, uh, that that lost contact with all of his eight children? They were it? very angry. At that. And, and that was it? That was, that was it. it. So nobody's ever heard so from them. Yeah, we never had any contact with them. We only had the contact only. with them when Grandma came to visit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, I'm, I'm curious. Be I mean, I, I know that Melzer is a pretty common name, but I'll always be curious to see if there are Meltzers in the Philadelphia area. Oh, there has to be. There are eight kids. And that, right, right. We <laughs> get would, would, would they know they from, probably, would they no, know no, from no, their no, parents no, or grandparents they might have some. anything. They might have some information. They might. They, they might. That's right. Uncle so, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. Rose Bernstein and Shirley Pullman. Yeah. Those were cousins. Yeah. They were cousins. Now, are they cousins on the Meltzer side? I haven't side? got the five years out yet. So we don't know if they were on the I Meltzer side I or how? I suspect they were, because how would your mother right. have... Uh, sure. Yeah, she wouldn't have gone to visit <laughs> on, the on the other, other side. side. She would have so gone somehow, to these yeah. are the children of a sibling of Joseph. Right. Yeah, a sibling of Joseph. <laughs> right. Okay. So, okay. So, but uh, yeah. one of the, one of I remember one of the kids was a Philadelphia policeman. I remember one that. Really? One, one of them. One of them drink. One of them. <laughs> and, and one of them one worked drink. actually for uh, for the uh, there was a big uh, liquor 
manufacturer. It was a publican in South Philadelphia, and he worked for he worked for the liquor manufacturer. These are, these are the eight children that you're talking about. Two of the eight children. One was a cop. One was a liquor distiller. <laughs> Both inside and out. <laughs> and I remember that the, the, there was a daughter, Gertrude, that I remember. She was, oh, yeah, there was a daughter, Gertrude. There was oh. a daughter, they had a daughter, Gertrude. That's interesting. One of the eight children. One, One of the eight. eight. Oh, that's interesting. So, so Gertrude, 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 Gertrude was in the family. Like Joseph Meltzer's, maybe that was the maybe. name of... Uh, uh, that's interesting where Joseph that name, first yeah, wife yeah was where that name, wife. yeah, that's possible where that then, name then came from. Your mother would have been named after her grandmother. Maybe. That's a good point. That is. But you're right, we lost contact. Let's <laughs> yeah, we can, um, we can do some still research on that. So. Um, we can do research. Well, by now they might be. It'd be kind of interesting to try to make contact with them if you could figure out who they are. But to move along, yeah. you, know, we should you don't remember. remember. I think that's about it. I think. You don't remember the name of the second wife, Joseph's second wife, who gave birth to okay. Kate and those men. Sam, <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Saul, Herman, Herman okay. and Abe. Do you know where, where Joseph's first wife, uh, your uh, grandmother, wife number one, do you know where she died? Okay. So you wouldn't know where she was buried? We don't know. We don't know. We know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. we know that the third wife, and we're not even sure where she was buried, actually. Where was Joseph buried? I don't know. Did, he, did they live in Atlanta at the end of their lives? But they didn't live in Atlanta. They lived in... Um, no, they did live in Atlanta. I think the end of their life. Did your mother ever talk about that at all? So they might have. So Joseph, do you know when Joseph died? You don't know when. So he might be buried in Atlanta, but you don't. You're not sure. Uh -uh. It might be in Oakland Cemetery. That's yeah, right. There are there are some relatives in Oakland. You know, we need to pay a visit to Oakland. So I mean, yeah, there are some relatives. Yeah, we should. It's really quite old? a specific experience. Yeah. Is that, that's uh, the old Jerusalem? That's, yeah, that's the old class in Atlanta. Someone might have done a map of them. Oh, yeah. Someone in Hartford has done a map of the, all the Jewish cemeteries in Hartford. And there may be someone enterprising like that in Atlanta who might have done that. There is something like that. Yeah. Of course, there was such a... Yeah. Family. I remember. They all were around. But we do have relatives buried in Oakland. That's true. And I have to say, I've never been there. I've never been there either. I've been by it millions of times. I've never been there. Where is it? It's right there on, uh, you know where the old, uh, you know where old, what what they call it? The old mill, the old cotton mill down there. Uh, you know what? You might as well not tell me. Cause it's off Ed, Edgewood, Edgewood. Edgewood, 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 Edgewood Avenue. Yeah. Edgewood, uh, what, what is the name of that thing they used to call it down there? They, they re redid the whole thing. Is it near the... Then where, the, what's the name of the cemetery where your parents were there? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, no, no. This is oh. downtown. This oh. is really the. It's uh, anyway. I know where it is. Mm -hmm. just, just, but there are relatives I believe buried there. Hmm. I would say. So we'd have to go and check who, whatever. I'm sure the sexism would have something. So we know very little, really. I had candlesticks that were given to me by Grandma that I use every right. Friday night. I think those candlesticks might have been given to her by her mother-in-law because they're, they're typical candle, yeah, when they came here. Oh. Um, yeah, that's possible. I guess. Yeah, I, and it, it, what's very interesting is that we went to the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, I must have been four or five years ago, and my candlesticks were there. So I think they were very common, this cut of candlestick, you know, with the grapes hanging right, down. Very, right. very ornate right. candlesticks. Yes, yes. And I don't even remember Grandma using those candlesticks. I remember, I have a picture of her lighting candles, mm -hmm. and it was a very simple brass candlesticks right. that she was using, not this, this yes. stuff. Is there a mark on those candlesticks on the bottom? Mm, no. No, I don't think so. so. They were candles. filled. They were filled with something it's, heavy. Yes, and right. It could have been, there could have been a label or something on that. 
But Renana took them in for replating because they were so Smith. horrible to look yeah. at. And the silversmith took all that, took stuff, all that out. stuff out. Right. So who knows if there was a label or anything out of it, it's gone. The silversmith took it. Yeah, out. Now they're, they're very light. But they're very. <laughs> they, but they definitely are typical of, of Polish. Ah, okay. This was a Polish kind of Judaica. Uh, that, do you remember whether your mother had candlesticks from Atlanta that she brought with her? Well, the, those brass candlesticks were given to mom by grandma, but oh, I think that they were purchased. They were purchased as a, you know, in the United States as a wedding gift. I mean, they weren't. It wasn't anything. Not anything old. But you ought to put a magnifying glass and look around the base of those oh, candlesticks on the inside. Oh. And see if you can see anything. Like, like my father's hand over it. We That's discovered right. it was just some initials. And we found out those initials were from, from a town in Germany where they made right. those those of menorahs. So yeah. maybe something yeah. similar to for the candlesticks. Uh, it's possible. It's entirely possible. While we're talking about right. stuff, I have a hand mirror that belonged to Aunt Jenny. Oh, oh really? You do. It was one. I, it's the only object. Oh, how so, nice! Yeah, it's from the it's from the teens, I think. It's from we, the yeah, Do you know which settled. Jenny? We the crazy Jenny. Henry Jenny. Jenny and Henry died, and we did go into that house and uh, dispose of the. Eunice uh, was executor of the will, I think, and so we had to dispose of. And Dave wanted stuff. nothing to do with any of this, so you did it all. We did it all. I, I somehow remember that. Yeah. You're talking about that when I would come to visit. So I assume that, uh, so going back then, so Joseph's second wife also died? That's something my mother would have known because she spoke about one of the children. I think she would have known. You used to call her Bubby Melzer, didn't you? Bubby Melzer. Was well, Mrs. Klein? Mrs. Mrs. Klein. Bubby is a Yiddish name. Yeah, grandmother, yes, but I, I don't know right. her. I don't know her name. Right. But and she I had she had name. a daughter. She had Rose and Mackie and Bertha right. from her first right. marriages. Probably right. she right. married to a Scarola or something. Scarola. I think he was well to do. Maybe. Who was married to Scarola? I think Bertha was. Before, Bertha after Meltzer died. You mean? Yes. After Melissa died. Remember Sharon Mom talked about Rose Klein? She's still living. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have to tell you, this is very interesting. There is a, there's somebody called Rose Klein who... Um, Was in Mom's Piney Women's Room. Well, yeah, and, and Rose Klein is the grandmother of uh, Boren. Yeah. Of Danielle yeah. Boren. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's, that's right. I don't think that that's the, uh, you I think that think Rose Klein's yeah. a pretty generic name. I I think it might be. It, it's close enough it's worth asking. No, it think, is. I think it might be. Is it Rose yeah. or Rosa, Mom? Huh. Was her name Rose or Rosa? But wait a minute, I don't think Rose Klein. Rose, it might, not Rosa. Well, maybe you know what? It might not be. But it's not because Rose Klein Rose Klein, well, I don't know, it could have been because this was the third wife, so maybe she would have been a lot younger. Could have been a lot younger. She would have been I mean she could have been a Possibly a, you know, a contemporary of mom's, even though from yeah. the, from the yeah, chart right. she's a contemporary of, of, right. of yeah. grandma. Because mom, mom used to see this Rose Klein, definitely this relative. I don't know if it's the same Rose Klein as Danielle's it's, grandmother. It's, it's weird because mom's I mentioned Rose Klein's so. name a million, a million times, times, but she's never mentioned anything about being possibly a relative. The Rose oh. Klein that oh. I'm thinking Okay, that. well, there was a Rose Klein yeah, that she used to see in Shul on occasion. Rose, say, she is such a snob to me. She's a cousin, and Nani? she's such a snob. Oh, really? oh. Now, oh, Mom, really? Mom is saying that Rose Klein lived in the North. She lived most of her life in the North. Rose oh. Klein. She was married once and then divorced. Different Rose Klein. Okay, well, she used to tell married me about some Rose again. Klein that snubbed her. She's married now. <laughs> If she's still alive. Which is that cousin? Like I think yeah, so. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, was your Bubby Meltzer the wife number two or wife number three? I think it was three. I think it was three, too. Okay. And she had Mackie and Rosa and Bertha. They but not were, with Meltzer. They were clowns. No, they were clowns. And clients. Shaggy, you know the name... Well, there were two. There were twins that I grew up with, um, named Hirsch. 
and they were Bubby Meltzer's grandchildren. Hirsch? Through Hirsch. Bertha. Bertha Hirsch. Bertha Klein what? married a Hirsch. And she had Danny and Marvin, I think. Danny and Marvin Hirsch, who were a year older than I was. So she married a Sirota and also a Hirsch? No, no, her <laughs> daughter married a Hirsch. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm confusing. Yeah. Okay. A daughter. Okay. No, I mean, so wait, I don't understand. The, the Klein, that wasn't her maiden name? I don't understand. I know, I thought her, this was her first her husband's, husband's name. Oh, it was her first husband's name. So she came to Joseph Meltzer with three kids already. Right. Evidently, it ah, ah, out. so wait, so these kids are not Joseph Belzer's kids? No, they're no, step, no, they're step those kids. are clones. No, step they're step kids. Ah, all right, so he didn't, he didn't, he didn't father them. And they're not, no. and they're. And so did he they're father they're everybody in wife number two, or did those no. not necessarily his? Either? Mom said there were no children, right, between Joseph and the se and the third wife. No, there were no children. Yeah. Okay. So, so his second wife was all of them as he went. Now, but his yeah. second wife was that her only marriage? To your knowledge? So, I think it's so. All five of those that I know she was are, married are to from one. Joseph. Then, okay. Oh, I see. She had the yeah. grocery store. Yeah. So Joseph had a total of nine. And he called her Bubby Mills. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Eight. But, but no, because no, he Molly fathered Wilson. because. Oh, yeah. Molly hanging for the ground. That's ground. right. Yeah. You're right, nine, you're right. Nine. Nine. You're right, nine. Molly's hanging the other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Yogi's catching up. <laughs> so. <laughs> Bless his heart. There you go. <laughs> so, his heart and your wallet. <laughs> so Molly ran the store. Your mother. Your mother ran the store. Yes. And did your father work in the store, too? I thought he was in the junk business. <laughs> I think that. Uh, uh, Didn't he work with right. Louie for a while in the junk works. business? I think I heard that. I think that's true. I think he worked with Louie for he a while in the junk with business. Louis all his life. Okay. Well, Louie wasn't in the grocery business, was he? No, Louie had a feed and grain store. Okay. On Decatur Street. Okay. On what street? Decatur. Decatur Street, okay. That right. was the name of the river. Yeah, Decatur Street. I remember Decatur the street. Street. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> was that the name of the store too? <laughs> and the store was Louis Feeded Grain. <laughs> 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 it probably was. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, and that's the say this was a Feeded Grain and store. And my father worked <laughs> with Louis until he died. Mama, could you tell us a little bit about what what your dad did? At the store, you know, what kind of work did he do and what kind of work did Louie do? My father was a bookkeeper. And he kept the books wherever he worked. Yeah. Wherever he could find You them. know, they had to keep books, keep something, records. He was a record keeper. He cooked the books. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey <laughs> style. That's what he did. And what did Louie do? Louis sold. He had the purse now. The outgoing purse now. You say this was a feed of grain. Who yeah. who were their customers? And then they're feeding uh, grain. I mean what 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 who do they sell to? This feed and grain at that time? Oh, that they were farmers. Oh. In other words this Yeah, that they sold to, you know. And then that went out of business. And they started uh, with um, stuff. I thought it was just a bunch of junk business. <laughs> junk, junk business. Junk business. Junk. Started as a feeding <laughs> grain. That's how it ended up. Well, I junk. think that feeding. I think the feeding grain probably went out as went out, times changed. Yeah. As times That's changed, changed. The and then Louis switched over to junk because yeah. it was the easiest thing to come get, get into. Oh yeah. Do you remember? Was that? Going? Is that junk store? Was no, that no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Now, Louie got out of the junk business when he went into the home, didn't he? Yes, he had to get out. Right, okay. And what, let me ask you this, why did he go into the home? Because he didn't have, did he not have anywhere else to live? Uh, I mean. I think that was mainly it. Okay. And he. Did we determine he didn't have any children and didn't he have a didn't wife? He didn't have any children. He had Jenny. Jenny, okay. 
sick of. She, she was sick of stuff. Yeah, yeah I don't so. think I ever met her or knew of her at all. But mm -hmm. She was a kind soul. So Louie and Jenny had no kids either? Mm -hmm. Correct. That's right. And Louie ended up in the home. So, so your, your father, didn't he didn't help out in the store at all? Did he, he keep the books in the store? He didn't do in the store. Never so Grandma had to do all the ordering and the selling. And Well, mm -hmm. my, mother, my mother used to talk about working in that store. They all worked there. They all worked there. They all worked in the store. In yeah. Uncle Louie's junk store? No. No, no, no. In the, no, grocery, in the store. grocery store that Grandma ran. So do you remember working in the, in oh. the store? I remember working in a grocery store, but that was from Bubby Nelson. That was Joseph's. Oh, why did I think that was Grandma's store? Huh? Well, the short leash, Marvelous. Whose store was it? Was it was it Bubby Meltzer? Was it Bubby Meltzer's store? I think it was her store. Okay, her and your grandfather, they had the store? Well, I think my grandfather was mostly in the show. You know, he would be going to show and stuff and she'd be running the business. So it was your grandmother who ran the grocery store, not Molly. Did Molly, did she work there? Did Molly, your mother, ever work in that grocery store? No. No. They, but she no, had it was a your grandmother. business. I think it was was your store. mother had a business? No. What and kind of business time. did your mother have? They had a grocery store. Your a separate one, a different grocery store. A different one. Your mother oh. and your father had a grocery store. Oh. At one time. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, all right. Huh. But they all worked there. All the kids worked yeah, there. Yeah, we worked in the grocery right. store. Right. Wait, but but. Uh, but I you? got too young, and but, so we took a car. Now we was driven to the Jewish Alliance. But your father never worked in any of the grocery stores. I doubt if she ever, ever worked in it. 